Hello and welcome to Darlington and the Xfinity car. We're doing some beat open. Um, I am the number one car in a single split because I work pretty much every day of the week and I get home at 11 p.m. and no one's racing anymore, so I don't really have much of a choice. I finally have a day off tomorrow, but I wanted to race tonight and, well, we'll see how it goes. Probably going to lose like 150 I rating after I get wrecked, but whatever, who cares. I had that muted for a second because they were talking. Um, seen some pretty concerning things. People doing donuts in the warm-up before this, and then people intentionally wrecking others in practice before we got into the session, so probably going to be awful and have some horrible things happen, I imagine. Um, yeah. It stinks. I wish I had a... I can wish every race could be like the Knicks League races, but... Badly, I don't always get good groups of people to race with. I could be wrong, maybe this will be fantastic, but... Darlington, at least, is very fun. Sometimes questionable to race with other people. But... Very fun track to drive, at least. Now, this first lap, I think, probably not going to matter all too much. Especially if I hit the wall. I can't believe I didn't hit the wall there, to be honest. Um, because it's the t cold tires make it so hard to control. So, I'll take that as a fallback lap and then push a little hard here, a little harder here. Oh no, got loose. Shoot. I'm gonna have to do better than that. Don't hit the wall. Man, that was terrible. Both laps were terrible. 30.0. Oh, oh, I'm mad at myself. I blew it. My best is a 29.7, so I'm three tenths off my best. Uh, I swear the track must be hotter or something. I ran this one time already. But I couldn't record it because there's too much commotion going on around me and my computer, so... Uh, I could not record. It was not a good recording environment, <laughs> so to speak. So, yeah, I should be up there with the two. I should have been able to compete with that, but hopefully we don't fall too far as laps come in. I'm mad at myself for ruining that lap. You want to watch your water temperature. It's looking a little high. It is what it is. I'll just get some laps of practice in. Um, I didn't get to do as much practice as I would like. I was I would like, but like I said, I already did a race, so um, just gotta get warmed up for the day for this race here. Since it's my first race of the day, probably contributed to being a little slower on that lap. And then we'll try green flag stop if we might end up needing that. We have a weird entry. Look out for the pit speed limit. I'll take that, though. I don't know if that's the best way to do it, but it's the way I'm going to do it. Seems good enough, and I want to get off the track surface. I know some people go into turn three and then cut down, but I don't trust people to not run into me. So I'm going to do that weird use the entire apron thing. And I could have been a little better with it. Probably want to angle it a little bit better. And I don't think I want to go in first gear. But... Uh, I, I just, at least I feel like I can get it done. So... Oh my. What's with all the black flags? I guess people crashing? I don't know. Do you, you don't get a black flag for crashing, though, do you? It's quiet here tonight. Uh, shout out to the six for making us Yay. wait. I don't know, maybe everyone else is waiting. I don't know, but... 12, I think they're muted. I don't know what they're saying. Wow, we are seven-tenths faster than the guy behind us. 
It might be a race between me and the two there, but we'll see how people are with race pace. It could just be people have trouble with their qualifying laps. All right. I thought about 10 to 1, but I don't think I need it. Everything should be fine there. Um, this is actually last season's setup for Darlington for the B car. There is one updated f that I saw for the first time on there tonight. But I can't get it to load for some reason. I tried downloading it and re-downloading it, but it was giving me an error. So I'm just using last season's. Seems to be okay, I guess. Hasn't given me any troubles, and like, and I did the last race with it too. So. Last race I did, there wasn't even a setup on OSR yet. Tonight there was, but then it gave me an error when I tried to use it. So, who knows? So P2 starting spot, hopefully. We can get single file before turn one. It's going to be absolutely terrifying if we're not. Pulled tires are so scary here. And then add to the fact that you're putting two cars together next to each other on a track that's very hard to be too wide. Well, we'll see how it goes. So, got session last lap up. Of course, not going to be trying to hit qualifying laps. Probably just gonna try to hang with the two. I don't think we're gonna break away from them. And I don't wanna, I don't think I want to anyway. Probably just be consistent and smooth. We're probably gonna have lots of cautions. Although, actually, maybe not, because Darlington, uh, so much of the track is apron then the ca that the caution doesn't always come out, because you got, you know, tracks clear, tower. <laughs> Yeah, Even though there's a pile of cars on the apron, caution doesn't always come out here. So, surprisingly, despite how treacherous this track is, you don't always uh, get a bunch of cautions. Anyway, we're off rolling. It's a second gear start. There it is. It was in my blind spot for a second. I was like, where'd the two go? So I feel like I absolutely blew it in qualifying, and I still got P2, so I'm feeling okay. Especially 7 tenths faster. But like I said, that, that could be just, you know, the race pace could be much different. So we'll see. Definitely going to do everything I can to try to get single file. Before turn one, though. If that means backing out, I will. But don't want to end up, you know side by side with the people behind me instead of the guy in front of me. Now that doesn't help much at all either, so. About to go green, stay focused. Getting ready. He's right up on the pace car. Stay focused. All right, great start. Green, green, green. Compared to the guys behind us. A whole mile ahead of us. You got a little loose up there. I'm not going to do something stupid. Lap one. I tried to get a little bit of turn with the throttle. Overdid it a little bit though. There's a little bit of break even though we don't need to in the turn one, just to uh... Alright, well... Close wow, the whole field is gone. <laughs> We're, they're already a second behind, fourth place. This is gonna be... Sorry, man, I was a, a real ago. single split race, isn't it? Like, not just a single split race, but a single split race. If you know what I mean. <laughs> but can't blame them too much. It's a very difficult track. Um, obviously not taking time or anything. Did one lap, essentially. Maybe like one and a half. Not gonna go and burn my tires up during uh, caution, so. Road is now open. And might as well save some fuel. You never know. Could come in handy. I 
That took out about three people already. Everyone was close enough together, I guess. It's still, uh, you know, collected some people. Plus, the actual racing surface is so narrow here. Lots of room, but... I love being out of the race on lap, too. Lots of room, but not a lot of room to race on. Hey, Brian, it's closed. Nobody in the third drive of the shack. This is a big split. Yeah. Alright, alright. I'm gonna uh, increase my volume. It's a little quiet, I can't really hear the people talking. So I think there were 19 people in here, if I remember correctly. We got some people in the pits, presumably to fix damage, or maybe they just want to head to the back. Then we had some people leaving. There might be, might have been a nice handful of people affected by that. Maybe we'll uh, get a nice launch again. Get some space, that would be fantastic. That's good, I got 63 uh, safety off that last race. Well, that's gone. So I'll hang with the two. I had 20 if he, uh, points in the NIS race, like 180 something laps. I still gained like 0.2 in uh, safety rating, that's insane. I'll hang with the two, really? and then he'll probably be just fine on speed. So I don't anticipate needing to pass oh, him. I think they need to turn down the, uh, like the requirements for the DQ. Like that should be like you know ten laps or ten uh, ten X or something. You know? I don't know. Depends on the track, really. Here, I agree with that. The certain track coming up. There's people really gonna fuck you up here. At least like a penalty of 10x or something, you know what I mean? Get people to just cool it a little bit. 17 seems a little excessive. Alright, let's do this again. Less cars this time, maybe we'll actually go green. We'll see about that. Sorry, you didn't touch me. Yeah, like, oh, crap. Single monitor means I'm looking to my left. Ice car is off. Be ready. Guys behind got a better start that time, but we are still clear, clear, clear. Breaks a good firm stab. Save some tires potentially. Three's up with us this time, looks like. Hopefully the three is patient with us. We got another second already behind him, so maybe a three car race. Focus on being nice to the tires right now, although it's pretty darn hard to do here. You kind of just have to go slower, I think. I think that's kind of just all you can do, because it's hard enough just to hit your line here. Thankfully, I've gotten a lot of experience at Darlington. It seems like uh, we end up going here a fair bit. It's got two NASCAR dates, so, you know, anytime the schedules are matching real schedules, we're coming here. And it seems like a pretty you know, popular track, too, just to add the schedules. So. And uh, that's a good thing. I love this track. Love coming here. Very, very unique, obviously. Very challenging. That makes it pretty fun. As long as you get uh, guys that understand how to race this place. To give plenty of uh, 
have plenty of give and take, know that you probably just want to back out if you're going into the corner side by side. If you got guys that understand how it works here, then it's really fun. Alright Colton, your water temperature's creeping up. Temperature creeping up, but usually my crew chief's pretty paranoid about all that, so I'm not too worried. So just following the two. Three's right behind us. Tires feel great. Don't feel any different yet. Like that we're uh, getting some laps done here. Close to the wall there. Brian, I think he probably had it under control though. I'm kind of driving it like I have worn tires right now. Just to get out a, out ahead. Maybe that'll be the way to save tires. Knowing how it feels when this thing does get tight, I'm kind of driving it as if it already were. Maybe that's the key to saving tires here. early to try to make a move. I don't really want to do that yet. Time was I don't want to get past either. Well, I guess it wouldn't matter. I just fall behind. I'm sure we're going to get a yellow flag again before the end of this thing, so not in too much of a hurry. I kind of prefer the cut down out of four there, rather than staying high. I feel like maybe it's a little harder on the right front to stay high, but I could be wrong. Ugh, my shoulder's still killing me. My left shoulder has been bothering me for a while. Man. Especially when I start tensing up and like doing racing, it starts flaring up. Starts feeling like it's burning. So well, that's not fun, but it's not gonna stop me. <laughs> Good consistency. Keep them coming. Two may be getting a little bit of distance here. Don't know if I worry about that though. Stay consistent. Maybe he's uh, got the tire saving completely figured out. Maybe he's doing it perfectly. And I'm just kind of guessing, so it's going to end up hurting me. Approaching lap traffic already. Lap traffic here is a nightmare. There's no room for anybody. And it's tough being a lap car, too, because you never know, like, is he close enough to let by? 14, and... I really don't want to dump you. That was a... Oh, we got guys on the verge of dumping, it sounds like. That's sweet. Oh, jeez, what do we got? Someone spinning. Down there in the apron, though, so should be okay. I was gonna drive up on track or something. Looks like they left.
Oh shoot, I think two's after the races. Fucking let people pass. We're already angry. This is a great place to make friends. I said sarcastically. It's uh everyone's always mad at each other. I try to like have the mindset, especially like approaching lap cars, like they're trying their best, man. It's tough here. Really just have to be very gracious, very patient, or else you're gonna find yourself in trouble. For example, is this guy gonna come up in front of me? Yes. Saw it coming, so I waited. Exactly what I'm talking about. You have to anticipate things here and be very patient to not like there, Randy. in a dangerous position. You're welcome anytime. <laughs> you're welcome anytime. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Randy. You're the best. We're not getting much of that this week, so that was, that was a pleasant surprise. Uh, if I can't keep up with you, I better get the hell out of the way. Everyone knew that. True. Yeah, but I've never understood people that block. You know, you can't finish if you're in defense. It's so funny. Not with that attitude. You can definitely finish in defense there. So it looks like we uh, might be okay pulling away from three. Just done it. He's got it just fine, though. I'm gonna focus on keeping my car clean. Don't run into the wall. I need to think about it, because usually whenever you start thinking about it is when you start hitting the wall. Think about driving your line, don't think about not hitting the wall. <laughs> More uh, good lap cars ahead, it looks like. Hopefully we reach them at a good spot. Might be turning the wheel too much in 3 and 4. Might need to approach that differently, although not sure how exactly I would need to do that. Crazy, I'm already four seconds out of you for a few minutes. Almost like you're blocking me or something. It is, uh, Having a bad day or something. He's like complaining a lot, to be honest. Oh boy. That was a weird way to do that. He's not gonna slide up and get me, is he? Okay. I'm gonna go low for you here, man. It's like you waited to the last second to let me by, and then, you know, I see him. Thank you, man. I see him dive down. I'm like, is he gonna be able to stick it down there? Like, you never know. I don't know about you, Colton, but that scared me going into one. Yeah, I was worried he wasn't gonna be able to stick it, but he did a good job. Stay on the brakes longer, maybe in three and four. That might be part of my problem. I think I was just getting off the brakes too soon. Get it slowed down properly. It was okay. It's just tough to drive, as always. You're not gonna get a setup that makes Darlington easy necessarily, unless you're just really good at it. Go here and decide that it is easy. But okay, what we got here? Does not let us go. I'll go low here for you. This is going low here. Okay. Appreciate that, Walker. 
Thank you. Got someone on the wall ahead. Is he gonna last by? No, he's gonna pull up right in front of us. They're getting into the wall. But it's tough, like I said, like, were we there? Maybe he didn't need to. Now he's gonna do it. He's gonna lift off, right? No. What are we doing? Inside. Clear inside. It's tough. It's tough. Just reminding myself to remember. It's tough. <laughs> Maybe he didn't realize uh, we were going to be on him so soon. He might just be hanging on behind us. He might be faster. I gotta remember, I'm running with not only a free setup, but an outdated free setup. So... <laughs> Probably not even set up for the right track temp or anything. Someone else leaving. That was one of the lap cars we saw. This thing's actually kind of loose. Maybe I needed to drive in harder <laughs> early on. So oh, maybe the three will want to make a move at some point. I am a okay with that. If he so chooses. I'll let you buy on the back stretch later. Good one. Hey three, this thing's getting real loose on me. If you need to get by me, I'll let I'll make it easy on you. Yeah, I'm gonna let you go by, seven. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Thing's getting way out of control. Yeah, I smacked the wall. Just the let him know if he uh. Fucking tight as shit now. I shall do that to you. Man, this thing, sorry, I have to really focus in the corners here. I just want to let him know if uh, he needs to make a move, I will not fight it. That last lap was at 32.4. Hitting the wall now. Later's uh, six seconds ahead, he's definitely got uh, his race figured out. If he just keeps it clean, then he's got this thing, obviously. Inside. Clear inside. Alright, so, he makes the move. P3, the lap time was at 32.8. Yeah, it looks like he might be faster at this point, so... That's why I wanted to extend, uh... Extend the offer. Just so he didn't feel like he had to go real hard and... 
make a daring move or anything. Thanks, Randy. I'm a-okay -okay with a third place. Yeah, if it comes to that. So long as I can keep it safe. It looks like fourth place is quite far behind, so I don't think I'm gonna have to be worrying about that. Holy cow, this thing's loose. Like, this thing is wrecking loose. Might have to try... Entry. Oh god, there's no grip at all. Almost brought it up into the wall there. Yeah, don't try new things. <laughs> Hear that, everybody? Stay in your routine. Never try new things. Live a boring life. Or else you'll hit walls. Some advice for the day. Fantastic, great advice. That you definitely should listen to. But also not really. Three is on his way. Definitely would have been holding them up. So we will just have a race with ourselves. Ourselves here. 17 second spec to fourth place, I think it said there. Had to do a quick glance. Definitely did not expect it to get wrecking loose. I thought it was going to get tight. Now, that could be the discrepancy in like the track temp that this car was actually set up for versus what the temp actually is. That could be just I tried to save the right front by driving on the right rear and I overdid it. I have no idea. Right now it is pretty darn loose, as you can see, getting sideways out of the corner, which is fun, but also scary. And I would prefer it would stick a little bit better than that. And I would prefer not to die in a wreck here on exit. Okay. Do I dare pit at any time, ever? I mean, thank you, Dixie. You're welcome, man. We would be pitting right around halfway since the only caution we had was early, so it'd be like lap 52, I guess, would be optimal, but. Also, you don't know if there's going to be a caution, maybe someone's spinning, maybe someone will spin trying to enter the pits, do we go long? Is that guy going up in the wall? I don't know. Patient. Alright. I feel like I'm kind of getting complacent, like I'm not driving very hard at all just because I don't want to risk anything too much since my car is so loose. Trying to drive harder could be dangerous, but also I'm a little worried I'm getting, being too complacent and I'm going to end up hurting myself by not driving hard. But just got we have so much space behind me I'm not currently worried about losing any more spots guess we could always just pit when the leaders pit I'll probably go like a lap after both guys ahead pit or something that might be what I do how many laps we got left about 21 laps left in this thing. Whew. That lap was at 32.4. The answer, Watkins, the head is increasing. It's now 3.8 seconds. I think we're actually catching to the two, but he might be in lap traffic right now. I'm not sure. Can't really tell from the relative if he's got someone in front of him or something. It looks like we were catching up to him. Ooh, if I do that. 
Yeah, it looks like he just had a lap car in front of him, probably. He was being patient for that's actually fourth place. So we've got fourth place in front of us on the road. So it is a three car race, and we are last in the three car race. Parking lot around 12. Just have to get the run. Maybe we do come in like lap 50 or something, try to undercut. Do a better job saving tires next time. We would definitely be the lucky dog, right? I think. I don't know. I'm not good at... I'm not a crew chief, I'm a driver. I don't know what I'm doing. Probably not doing anything too crazy. And just... Oh! Come in. <laughs> Whenever the other guys do. Clearly I don't have the long-term pace for either of these guys anyway. Last time was at 32.5. Gotta get like a piece of tape for a cheap sh uh, cheat sheet so I know how to do adjustments, right? We, you obviously can make pit adjustments, but I don't know them off the top of my head in order to, uh... uh -oh. Coming up on halfway, we got yep. fresher tires coming. Yeah, you know what, we're going long. I didn't even think about fresh tires approaching slower cars. It's gonna be Rex right there. Inside. Bye. Still inside. Clear inside. Yeah, people are going to be getting loose on their fresher tires, too, on the cold tires, so maybe uh, going long might be the way to go. Interesting to be put in this uh, position. Fifth place, looks like they're in the pits. Some guys doing some things, which I cannot describe. Watkins in front is now 6.9 seconds. Watkins ahead is pitting. Okay, second place is pit. He's maybe trying to undercut the leader. That's a lot of distance to make up, but he's trying something. Thank you. <laughs> this seems so dramatic about it. He like uh, completely goes off the track. So here's a uh, guy coming up, maybe. Okay, you are the leader. You've just done a thirty-two point seven. I'm the leader. We're gonna go long. Because why not? We're not going to lose all that time we had to fourth place behind us, or if we do, I'll be very surprised. So, might as well go long and see what we can do. See if we catch a caution. Maybe once the, uh, oh, wow. Thing didn't turn at all. Okay, maybe I do want to pit. You've just done a 
Actually, this thing feels terrible. I might get right now. And it might be time. Alright, yeah. let me not wreck this thing. Pitting in here. Kink behind is pitting. Pit lane speed limit is. That's good pit entry or not. Per hour. We'll fuel you to the end of the race. Probably not, but. That's a new fastest lap for. Get some fuel, get some tires. <laughs> Give me that which I desire. Haha, <laughs> funny reference. In. Now watch as the caution magically Five, comes out. Three, two, one. Right here. Forty-one thirty-eight. Hey, that's up. It's pretty good. I'm still surprised that the right rear went off more. I'm gonna push harder this run. But not, not bad, I guess. It certainly wasn't all that fast at the end of the run, though. Hard to be fast if you make a track, too. E3. Where are we? On track here. Okay, yeah, get used to what fresh tires feel like. Take a look at what our gaps are looking like here in a moment. Traffic. Sorry, I got loose. Fastest lap time was 30.0. Outside. Outside, clear. Sitting in the middle of the track. 15 seconds ahead, and he's over a lap down behind us, so. We are still third. Oh god, he's in the wall. Car outside, clear high. <sighs> okay, we're fine. We're just gonna push this time, I guess. Saving tires is actually bad. Look there. The three appears. You want to change the hard. Our tires should be fresher right now too, but only by what was a lap, maybe two. It's not much different. Well, we are at least on the lead lap, one of three cars to be on the lead lap. Like I said, kind of a three car race. Still can get a caution. Anytime anyone's past anybody here, it's, it can be treacherous. We actually got a fair number of laps to go. Pretty decently long race here. We'll see how the car feels after this run compared to the first run. How much found the back stretch? Catching up to P4. Actually, I don't know if we're catching up, but I know he's on the relative in front of us there. I'm going to for you, Thank you. No Darlington stripe yet, but I might be jinxing myself. You're reeling, Watkins, 
Just the leader. On our relative. Hopefully we can finish on the lead lap. I'd like to do that, but it seems like he's coming. That was at 30.5. Ah. Uh, not sure what that's about. What happened there, dude? No grip. I know that's weird. I think I had a really bad pit stop. I mean, I definitely, they undercut my pit time a little bit, so that gained them some time, I'm sure. But I think I just was really soft on entry, too. My car was so loose, I couldn't even enter as hard as I would like. I just was really focused not on wrecking and throwing away a, pretty much a guaranteed top three, so... It's kind of like that complacency I was talking about, like... I could push, and maybe have a chance to catch up, but also I could also just as equally likely throw away a guaranteed top three by wrecking myself or something dumb, so... I think this has got to be the hardest track in that car, other than the road course. Quick matching race pace, your last lap time was at 50.8. Yeah. Gonna catch this guy in a good spot. Inside. Clear inside. It's tough to know, a lot of guys pull over to the left and other guys just hold their line and just you never know for sure what someone's gonna do. I appreciate the sentiment, but slamming on braking wing in the corner is not the way to let somebody behind. That guy doesn't know what he's doing. I'm now like everyone to walk in. The head is now 11 seconds. All right. Doing some laps now. Looks like we've got some clean track for a little bit until we get to the 15. I feel like we're passing the same guys like twice a lap. <laughs> Catch up to them so quickly. Stick. Finally, losing time to the guy ahead, I think, now. Car's starting to feel tight. So, first run, I was too loose. Whoa, what was that? Sorry, it's something weird. I don't know. I forget what I said today. Looks like my computer did something weird, but I'm probably just having a mini stroke. Anyway, looks like the guy ahead was a. Uh, Getting away again, and I think I probably am burning the right front too much this time compared compared to the right rear last run. Car inside, clear. I could run this track all day though. It's just so fun to drive by itself. One of the few NIS races I've ever done was at Darlington. Four hour full length race. Got lots of experience here and that was in the old cup car, which I guess that experience doesn't do much for me anymore, but <laughs> I guess just running laps around this track, getting familiar with it too. See some smoke, that might just be someone entering the pits though. Or well, maybe it's this guy, Spun. Lap was at 
Pop back up a little bit again to the guy ahead. Weird. I think it's depending a lot on getting past lap traffic. I don't think I'm going to catch him or anything. He's 10 seconds ahead, so that's quite a gap to overcome. But still keeping an eye on it, you never know. Might have a really bad time getting past a certain lap car or something. Maybe he'll get in the wall and get stuck in the wall the whole corner. Just keep an eye on it, you never know. Doing okay on the goal of not going a lap down. This guy going. Doing good. Oh, desk's slid a little bit. I pulled on the wheel too much. I'll do that too much. Exit there, it kind of worked. Kind of. It's amazing how different the car feels this second one. Right, now that it's tight and still blues. I think it. I never say this, but I think I would kind of prefer it to be tight. Just a little tight. Not too tight, obviously. Don't overdo it. But, like, it was like wrecking loose that after that first run. And that is not pleasant at this track. I think I would prefer more stable maybe so I can underdrive it a little bit not have to worry about looping it out of the corner. Just have a nice safe rest of the race. Nice stable rest of the race. Lots of clean track in front of me. I like that. Might not be <laughs> all too many people left. I've, I've been seeing every once in a while the you know, so and so has disconnected message. Eight point three, point two, and dropping for the guy in second. Still not nearly catching him fast enough, I don't think, but going to keep going. It's like I said, you never know if he runs into trouble or something. Ahead, okay. Plus, no fun in just coasting around the track. Let's give it some speed. So the, almost the entire field is two laps down. I think fourth place is one lap down, and then fifth is two laps down. Very interesting race we've got here. Hard to even call it a three-car race if I'm this far behind, either. Almost just feels like we're multi-class racing, except every car is its own class. <laughs> I think he gained on us, actually, now, in front. I could be wrong. Still 13 back to the leader. Not worried about going up down to achieve that goal, I think. Still managed to keep it out of the wall for now. Oh, 
finally got another car ready to lap here. Coming up. It's a little loose there for a moment. Right rear might be getting a little lower. We're almost in the wall. Almost got my Darlington stripe right there. Not the most compelling race, I'll be honest. I understand, but I don't the race too often. It's like I said, I kind of don't have a choice. I have to race these late night single split races. Gap to Watkins ahead is now 8.2. It's an extra turn out of that right rear. Okay, Colton. Cup times are pretty consistent. That was a 32.1. Coming up to the end of this thing, though. We're coming, we're coming to uh, 13 to go, it looks like. Yes, indeed. We're actually not even catching this lap car very quickly. We are, but it's, it's not too far off on base from us. Right there. Still technically catching the guy in. We're in the sevens now. That last lap was at fifty-two point two. That all would matter if we get close enough to take advantage of a potential mistake or mistake by someone else. Oh, we threw it in hard. Too hard there. Almost got the wall. I'm trying. I'm trying to get the wall. Apparently. Ooh, I don't know if he's let me by or if he got loose. I think he's let me by. That cars have been uh, very generous this race. In the loose tough spots, they have been very ready to give 100% space. So that is very appreciated at a track like this. Time was 32.4. 7.3. You see the guy head now. The gap to Watkins in front is now 7.5. I doubt we're gaining much at all anymore. This late in the run, I don't think this car just is very good on the long run at all. do that if it's not even set up for this specific race. <laughs> but I don't know even if a better setup would do me much good. I think uh, those guys are probably just better than me here too. Not too unlikely. I mean heck, maybe the setup's perfectly fine. Maybe it's like everything's exactly the same. They just know how to do long runs better. Could be. It's 
turn on entry. Get kind of loose off. I think uh, 15 will probably let us by once we get to the back stretch, if I had to guess. Looks like he thought about it. Right there. No, he's not ready. Alright. Captain Watkins ahead is now. He's gonna put in the wall. Not a great way to let someone buy. That's all right. I know it's tough here. Push, push, push. Could be second here. Hope I don't sound patronizing. Like I'm genuinely, I, I mean that. I know it's very tough here. Holy fuck! The guy who's just on mic, maybe he got uh, loose or something. The thought of a green white checker just popped in my mind, and I hate it. I would like that thought to go away. Just bring us to the white flag and save this thing. <laughs> so I think our finishing position has been determined for about 75 laps now. Three is easily driving away at this point. We lost a chunk of time from the lap car, but we were not going to catch him anyway. Two left to go. Two to go. Looks like we're good to stay on the lead lap. That's a personal victory. And we've got two to go! Two laps left. We're on for a podium here. We have two. Watkins in front is now 8.4 seconds. White flag. Got more gun moved. And the leader's on the white flag, so no more threat of green white checkered. So lots of green racing here. Kind of like I said, it's treacherous here, but even when guys do get into each other, often goes green. Good win, John. Thank you, man. Good win. Got about two laps of fuel. Good racing with you, Juan. Oop. Good race, everybody. That was fun. Yeah, good race, and thank you, lap cars. That made it easy. I know it's real tough here, so a lot of guys did a real, really good job. Yeah, that was the best one this week of cars will get out of the way. It was the most cars, pretty good. Speed difference is very crazy. Alright, so... Many times, but it's fun. P3, I will take it. Pulling on over. So we really had nothing for uh, the leader, or even second place for that matter, once long runs set in, but I'll definitely take P3, everybody else two plus laps down, and uh, some guys out early from whatever wreck happened, which we'll check out in a moment. Yeah, just harder on the right front that time. Like I said, I almost kind of preferred that. I just have to find somewhere in the middle if I want to have a better run. Probably not quite as hard on the right front but not as much saving up the right rear or using the right rear as I did in the first run to where it got so crazy loose. Probably want to find somewhere in the middle there. I think I would still probably want a more worn right front, but maybe not that much. Maybe like add 10% to this one. <laughs> and, uh, you know, if I had like a 55, 58 or something, that'd probably feel pretty good. Obviously it doesn't quite work that way. It'd probably be more like a, you know, 49.54 or something. Doing a little bit of trade-off. I don't know. 
but we'll take a look and see what accidents happened. 0x2, by the way. We'll absolutely take that. Top three guys, the only guys with 0x. So keeping it clean, very important. Keeping the car intact, being patient. All I really got to do. Also, it helps to be the number one car in a single split, but let's uh, forget that happened. <laughs> forget that. That still applies. So, ooh. Tim just kind of comes up and gets the six. Very. Oh, well, that's lap one, so. Well, just takes him out. Sure, he didn't mean to. Ooh, but uh, then someone else gets collected. I'm not sure why he's all the way down there. Did he get loose? Yeah, he got loose and ended up down the track right where that guy was. That was a bad time to get loose off the corner. But I think both of their races are probably done after that, because that's a heavy hit right there, and then he goes out and hits that wall pretty hard. Maybe not end of the race, but some serious damage. So. Tan, after uh, wrecking the other guy, goes and hits the wall on the same lap. That's a tough first lap. Are we going to have a tough second lap as well? I don't know why we're seeing this, but no, someone else is... well. Yes, he's having a tough second lap as well, but it wasn't his fault necessarily this time. What do we have here? We've got... Okay, so this guy ends up down here somehow. Got loose. So he's way off pace. We get someone coming with a full head of steam. He looks like he's about to cut him off. And so the 9 checks up, and then 15 just comes up and hits him. So that's how that happened. Just drives up the track, runs into him, and then we got some pinball going on. Ooh, did the four avoid all this? Oh, he gets the wall, but... Ah! Uh. <laughs> Void's getting it in too much, but that was our caution right there. Sideways cars on the track, 10 tries to turn down, but... Try should have been less worried about turning the wheel left and more pushing the brake pedal down. So it doesn't even sound like he's on the brakes at all or anything. It looks, sounds like he's just trying to drive under it. But I think if he slowed down, he could have missed it pretty easily. And then we got some blinking from the guy that caused the wreck. It's happening under pacing. Huge speed difference into the corner and that causes more trouble. caution because it was technically on the quote-unquote apron here he's into the wall I just realized I never got it I never even got a Darlington stripe usually I like if I have a clean race I'll just come drag the wall <laughs> on the last lap on purpose just to get some scrapes out for my Darlington stripe but I forgot to do it <laughs> man how, how am I supposed to come to Darlington and leave without a Darlington stripe What's the point of that? Nothing on entry. I'm going to have to go fast through this. There's going to be way too many wall hits. You guys hitting the wall probably like every lap. So I'm just going to zoom by until we see like too wide maybe. Probably just go until it breaks, to be honest. Because it'll probably break from me going too fast. What happened there? 14, it's the wall and exit, and the 5 had to... Ooh, he's lucky Netco didn't get him. 3 following me, but... I'm driving it a bit. I just had nothing this race, man. I'm supposed to be going faster. <laughs> I should have reminded myself that during the race. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be going faster. Sometimes you just need to remind yourself, you know, like, oh right, race. With the quickness and such. So. Oreo dunking it into the wall. Let's go. Oh, side by side, we got something. Something happening. 
15 level driving it. Oh man, I should have freeze framed that because that was like milk and cookies right there. I think that was like the Kellogg's. He did like milk or something on his car. And then there's Oreo. Like, that was a match made in heaven right there. Car number four getting loose. Wall hits. Yeah, look, this guy got milk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make that the thumbnail. I'm gonna make the milk and cookies. Even if I'm not in the shot, I'm gonna make that the thumbnail. <laughs> Just because it's milk and cookies. What did I do? I didn't hit the wall. I got close. Didn't hit the wall though. Probably hit 50. So this is right before, uh, right before pit stop, so my tire is hitting 50%. the wall a couple times. Nothing too severe though. I, uh, following behind the 15. Ooh, he hit the wall pretty good there. He keeps it up there. Ouch. Ouch. Ooh, he's stuck up there too. He still beat me. I'm kind of curious how I would do on a mod, uh, like an updated setup and stuff, but I also kind of don't want to know, because if I'm still slow, then I have no excuses anymore. <laughs> Arizona T, up into the wall. Some good schemes this race. Freeze kind of slacking on a scheme, that's boring. Snore, pure black. We got like the Got Milk car. It's a pretty good one. Oh yeah, best in the field right here. Not biased. I was kidding. I like this game though. And here's me just being patient. <laughs> Let 15 figure that out. Whoa. How do we end up like that? I think he's just gathering it together. Kind of lost control a little bit. Use the control of the straightaway. Hey, some guys might have a yeah. Sorry about the on. Some guys might be having issues because they've been hitting the wall so much. Handling's getting weird. And your winner! Doing purposeful donuts. So, hey, just had the one caution. Lots of green flag racing. Unfortunately, not too competitive. Um, I mean, if you need to see what I mean, it's like right there. But, uh, top three, I'll take it. Not too far off the three, but not really. I mean, yes, we were. <laughs> yes, we were nine seconds back. Eight point something. So, but uh, did what I had to do to get the top three. And uh, that'll do it for Darlington. Be open. Thanks for watching. If you stuck around. Bit of an endurance race right there. And I endured it with uh, without getting the Darlington stripes. So, I'll take it. Congrats to the number two for a dominating win. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Have a good one.